Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sherry. I'm Joe. And this week we're going to be talking about our um, gravity feed water system. And we're going to kind of take a tour inside our cabin. Um, we do have the pond going in the back. And Joe can tell you a little bit about that. And then we'll walk over and he can show you our water system. Here's one water source. We just have a PVC pipe kind of like this. Just over there at the water source. And it just lays inside of this rain gutter and just trickles out this little bit of water that we have go through this screen. Uh, to, to the screen's just there to keep out needles and the pine cones and whatnot. And it fills up this bathtub. And then out of the bathtub where the drain would be, we have some, some of this hose that comes out, this black pipe that is just laying across the surface of the ground and goes down to that pond, which we have a little sprinkler head on, and we use that for water in the yard and keeping that pond full. After the freeze is done in the spring, about March, I come up and, and lay this rain gutter across here to start filling it, and, and that thing runs 24-7 from March to about October when I come up here and, and remove that and drain this so that the tub won't freeze and break in the winter time. Uh, so now we'll take a walk back down to the cabin. Oh, and uh, it's probably about 400 feet to the cabin from here. And I'd say an elevation drop of about 20 feet. So that's... And then we have it on that sprinkler head. It does a pretty good job for watering and stuff. Uh, let's take a walk back down to the cabin and we'll uh, take a look at our other water source that we use inside the cabin. Here's our other water source, which uh, differently from that first water source, which is kind of just right off the surface of the ground, this comes from more of under the spring where it's filtered a little bit and that line is buried so that this doesn't freeze in the winter time and we can use this throughout the, the whole year and it's good fresh water that our showers, uh, for doing our dishes, uh, doing the laundry, that kind of thing. Uh, I even drink it. it tastes good. <laughs> you can see we got pretty good flow here. Uh, I suppose we get about five gallons a minute right here at, at this faucet. But as soon as we hook up the hose and run it. We cannot quite get this water to run into the cabin. Uh, as you'll see, our gallons per minute goes down significantly when we walk up this little bit of a hill and get up here to the cabin. And now here you can see that we're not getting nearly five gallons a minute. And as a matter of fact, if I just pick this up a ways, I can bring it to a complete stop right there. So we start getting just above where our water source is. So this water uh, we use, fill up these tubs, use this for washing our hands and stuff. We also have a pump that we'll hook up and pump the water farther to the inside of the cabin where we have a holding tank up in the rafters. Uh, we should go in and take a look at that. Okay, here we are. The water would come in from outside. We'd hook the hose up on there. 
with the outside hose hooked up, it would come in on this hose, which goes in right in the top of this 200 gallon holding tank. Okay, when the tank is full, it'd be coming right out of the bottom of the tank here, which comes out and splits off with the cold going on forward to the bathtub. And this line splitting off and coming over the hot water tank, the propane hot water tank, uh, then comes out. That pipe comes underneath the tub, which then comes to where the hot and the cold are, which come together. And get the hot water going. The cold water going. Plug up the bottom. There's our shower for getting all clean. And then we don't have the plumbing ran to the kitchen sink yet. So this is also where we would get our hot water to take into the kitchen sink. Uh, to do the dishes. Uh, the, the blue tub that I was filling up earlier when uh, I started the hose and was filling that blue tub up on the porch, we use those here at the sink for rinsing the dishes and washing up and uh, that kind of thing. So there was a little look at uh, how we work our gravity feed water in the cabin. Uh, this coming here, frost free. We, this trench also went on and at the other cabin, at Charlie's cabin, uh, there's another one of these frost free spigots outside of it. And then down the hill at the bathhouse, there's a third spigot. Uh, that one, uh, we have a little project going down there. We're putting in a shower and uh, we'll go down there and take a look at that. All right, here's the last place that the water comes to. It's our little bathhouse down here, our project. Uh, we're still working on it. We have, uh, you can see there's a pallet here. This I'm actually gonna tear down and uh, we've been using quite a bit of uh, reclaimed pallet wood some of these projects. We also have one going in the cabin where we're redoing the ceiling. Uh, we're looking forward to showing you guys that in a, a future episode. But uh, here's our bathhouse project. You can see here we have another frost free spigot. Now here we're we're a bit farther down the hill even, and we're hoping here that we'll have actually enough pressure where we don't need the holding tank to use, that just the gravity feed that's coming here will be enough to run another hot water tank, which will, everything being gravity fed down here still, will just come over and we're gonna set the shower up about here somewhere and uh, this will be a little room for guests to come and take a shower. Everyone's situation is different. And so what worked for Joe and I for our water system might not work for you depending on whatever your circumstances are. But um, when you're on a limited budget, you kind of do what you can to make things work. Joe Feldo mentioned that that little shower setup, he made all that, including the shower head. He drilled holes in the end of one of those little PVC pieces and it works great. Also, nothing's glued together. So if you don't like it, you can take it apart and change it however you'd like. That's it for our episode today. I hope you enjoyed yourself watching it. Um, next week, I guess we've had some requests about our solar power. So the next episode, we're gonna talk about that. And Joe will take you through the powerhouse and, and show how that system is all set up and how it works. Right, Joe? I shouldn't have drank that water. <laughs> Until then, no. have a great rest of the week. Okay, bye. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. I can't need sunglasses today. Uh.
Okay, you ready to start? Are you already started? <laughs> well, I'm doing, John, I was going to do it right now. Well, I hope you learned something about, no, <laughs> it's not going to work. I think I'm getting sick. Can we do it again? <laughs> do it again.